Well, if you haven't seen much rain yet this week, there aren't too many chances left. We still have some showers around today, but I think the shower chances are fading tomorrow and even more so by Friday and probably by the weekend eh, back to near 0%. So most areas I think will be dry Thursday and Friday, but still a couple showers are possible. Not too much rain around, but mainly dry and hot this weekend. So we have t the rain chances going down, but temperatures going up and we'll likely see some places in the upper valley hit 100 degrees again as we get closer to the weekend. But right now there are some showers, but if you look at the radar, this is the last three hours and there's not rain in too many places. Little showers here and there. The heaviest rain was around Brownsville earlier today in your Matamoros, but the, that rain has faded. But most of the showers right now in Wilson County, if you look at the radar, we see some scattered showers around. None of this is going to last a long time, so you might get up to about a half an inch of rain, but some showers possible here through about sunset and then some could pop up elsewhere. But you see some of the heaviest rain right now kind of centered just north of Lyford and just north of Raymondville. You see a heavier shower right over about US 77, uh, Business 77 and, and I 69E all the way up again to the north. US 77 looking a little wet around Raymondville. So some brief heavy rain in spots, but not too long lasting. Overall, most of South Texas, not too much rain today. The widespread rain is still in the Western Gulf. And in case you're wondering, this isn't anything tropical blowing up. This is kind of underneath an upper level disturbance, which is slowly weakening and slowly drifting away from us. So our rain chances as it moves away, keep going down, down and down and eventually get to about zero for the weekend. Temperatures now look at that. The, the old 100s back. I know we missed it for so long. It's been, it's been like a week. It's been on vacation, but 100 back in Rio Grande City. 92 in McAllen, 76 in Brownsville, where the rain was around the valley earlier. Most of it in Brownsville, so cool there, you see. So 76, feeling good, feeling 100, yeah, yeah. Uh, but in between, most places in the 80s and 90s, still 91 in Wesleco. Now, your evening planner, depending on where you are, this is kind of an average, but by 7 p.m., it'll probably still be around 80 or so in Brownsville, but most areas in the mid to upper 80s at 7 p.m., still a small chance of a shower through about sunset around eight o'clock or so, and then after that, mainly partly cloudy skies and temperatures dropping slowly through the 80s. Future track still shows a couple showers again here and there in spots through about sunset, but after that, mainly partly cloudy skies tonight. Tomorrow's a day when I think the rain chances are getting less and less. The atmosphere has two things going on. It has drier air moving in and also the mid-level temperatures, kind of where the clouds are forming, are starting to warm up, so the clouds won't be able to really build up and get too tall tomorrow. So any showers, I think, will be spotty tomorrow and then have even less rain because the clouds won't be as big. So look for less rain if you do get a shower tomorrow, but uh, a 10 or 20 percent chance of a shower is possible tomorrow and even Friday. So maybe enough moisture for a, a couple small showers with the sea breeze, but you see future track only has a little bit of rain and other than that, mainly dry and hot weather returns and all the way into Saturday sunshine, I think is the rule for Saturday and Sunday with hotter weather for the weekend. So the first 1570 forecast it's going to be bye bye rain soon for a while. There's not too much left. A few showers here and there in spots tomorrow and maybe Friday, but temperatures creeping their way back up around 95 tomorrow for an average 97 on Friday. But each day that's going to range from near 90 at the coast, about 100 in Star County. By the weekend, it gets a little bit hotter in some areas with more sunshine, light breezes each day. There'll be a little breeze around each day of the weekend and through the 4th of July from the southeast, but we're looking for mainly dry, hot and mostly sunny weather through next week with almost no chance for rain. Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. I mean, you could maybe cross your fingers for one little sea breeze shower next week, but I think if you haven't seen rain by this week, it's it's game over for a while. Okay, Alan, thanks so much.